Hi there, Chris here. I have a very interesting old cylinder here, rim cylinder. Um, it's kind of gummy inside. It opens to the right and the left, and it is actually a master. If you can see that. If we can focus on that. There we go. There's the bidding on the key. Has a code on the back. And this has been kicking around in one of my um, one of my lock drawers for quite a while. And I have not ever been able to um, single pin pick it or rake it or get it open. I'll just do a real quick. Now, of course, it's going to make a fool of me and open, but I doubt it. Because I've tried it a bunch. And I've tried it clockwise. And I've also tried it counterclockwise. Here, I'll try and rake it. And rock it. So, <laughs> it's, it's a little annoying not to be able to get a master lock this old uh, rim cylinder open it being a master so I was watching helpful lock picker the other day and he was doing a um, lock school video his on his series about um, the bidding the, the key bidding changing I'm sorry pin bidding changing uh, from clockwise to counterclockwise, and he was using a leashy to demonstrate that. And I, I kind of knew that because I'd played with my leashies and done some counterclockwise and did notice that you do get a different bidding from clockwise to counterclockwise. And then I started thinking about this, thinking about, well, this looks like this keyway looks like a quick set. So I got out my trusty leashy, my KW1, and thought I'd give that a try. So you put it in, and sometimes it, it's hard. This is because I've been picking on it. It's loosened up a little bit. Like I say, it's kind of gummy. And But I have no luck going clockwise. Okay, i got to click on one. Nothing on two. Feels like an overset on three, so I'm gonna back off just a little bit. Nothing on four. I felt three drop, nothing on five. Back to one, one is set. Two, nothing. Three. Three may be set or just overset. I hit four. And I'm, I'm messing with my tension. I'm trying to get it to get this to bite. And it won't bite. So we'll take it out. We'll clear it. We'll put it back in. And then I tried it <clears throat> counterclockwise, which is a little bit more difficult in the hand. So now we have nothing on one. Really nothing on two. Nothing on three. So you start thinking, oh, well, this isn't just, you know, this is not working. And then we get a bind on the five, which we never got before. And we get a nice click. That's a set click. And then we go to four. And that feels like an overset. Back to five, it's still set. If I don't get anything three, two, one, then I know four is overset. So we're gonna loosen it up again. We'll just start in the back five. I'm not gonna mess with four. And I can feel a little resistance passing four. Key pins in the way. Nothing, oh, wait a minute. No, nothing on three. 
Nice click on two. Now one's binding. Nice click on one. <clears throat> Felt a minute um, rotation on the core. So one feels good. Two feels set. Where are we with three? Up, oh, hit three and we're open. So the leash he did it counterclockwise. Um, and so our bidding on this key should be, if I can read it, let's see. I'll try and read it through the camera. Um, that looks like a two for one, a one for two. Is that four? Four for three. I'm trying to get by four. I can't get by four. So it won't decode it, and I don't want to force my leashy. But it did pick it. So I guess we're going to try and get my leashy out. All right, something's not happening well. You know, something's trapped. Really trapped. Wanna go back in? No, it is stuck. There we go. I don't know what that was about, but I will try and gut this. You always want to be careful with your leashy because they're, you know, somewhat delicate. If I move Fatso Catso and find a wrench, maybe we can get this off of here. Okay. Thank you, Sook. Um, we are locked up, so I should be able to maybe get this off. I don't know if I, I don't think I've ever got the, gutted this because I've never opened it. Huh. Let's put it here where I don't run into things. Okay. Well, speaking of running into things. Huh. I did lock it back up, but that's all right. So we're open. It is going to come. <laughs> all right. We'll shim this. And hopefully bridge all that with the shim. I can't remember whose video I was watching. They were having trouble with gaps, like this kind of gap. Um these sort of things, but they were, they didn't have a shim. So the shim takes care of, you know, all of that stuff. Wow, it was uh, construction. It was uh, set up as a construction because you can see a pin in there. That's what I'm thinking that is. Anyway, so it's five pin lock. So we'll go and probably doesn't want to come out very easy because it's gunky. All right. So that's five. Make sure we're in focus. And I'm sure these are all standard, but it is an oldie. It's kind of different. Three, I got this in a, a a lot of locks on eBay. Can't remember what I was really going for. I, probably not this, but this was sort of a bonus. Being a master, I had not seen a master um, rim cylinder. So that's that. We'll get our chim out of the way. Or 
Where's our top? Here we go. And I'm thinking these are all standards. Probably have some tired springs in there. surprised if there were anything but standards in here and let's see if springs will come out one two I see three I don't think I'm gonna dig around for any more but you get the idea anyway I'll give it a close-up of that those are our key pins and our bidding. Anyway, um, that's a kind of an interesting uh, master um, rim cylinder. And I can't tell if that's actually a pin in there or from being a... a Construction. It does really not feel like it, but of course it could be stuck in there. I don't think I'm going to get it out though, which is okay because we don't. We wanted to pick a counter, and, and this might go in that hole. It's hard to tell with all the gunk. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hit the like subscribe thank you to all my new subscribers leave a comment um say hello to the old soup dog whoa <laughs> poor suki she puts up with so much anyway we'll see you next time